So Tesla just announced their latest car and in this episode we answer the biggest questions that come with it. On 14th of March 2019, Elon Musk stepped up on stage and carried on his presentation for the Model Y. Now, the presentation was around 35 minutes and for the most part, it wasn't as much as a Model Y presentation as much as it was uh, Tesla and Elon Musk, you know, uh, looking back on their journey to this point. They called upon all the cars they've made till date and in fact all their products that they've made and only towards the fair end did they uh, talk about and release the Model Y. Now that's fair because uh, you know the Model Y represents the culmination of Tesla's grand plan which was to uh, you know become a mass market auto manufacturer. Now that's a really big feat because the last time any company in the auto industry achieved that was a hundred years ago. So that's a really beautiful spot that Tesla has uh, been placed in and has put itself in that position. Uh, so it was really special for them to do that. And that's why they were recounting their entire history t- till this point. Now, towards the fair end of it, we are shown the Model Y. Now, unlike other cars, the Model Y comes with a little question mark at the end of it, unlike the others that come with a big exclamation mark. With the Model Y, there are a lot of why's that come with it and we're here to recount the biggest ones and ans- try to answer the biggest ones so number one is why the model y right what importance does the model y hold uh, for tesla in the lineup of tesla so the model y is uh, the last car that completes the phrase that elon musk and tesla had for themselves which is the sexy uh, tagline the model s the model e which is the model 3 now Uh, the Model X and now finally the Model Y. So it really uh, completes that entire tagline of theirs. And second is that it, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, continues the dream of becoming a mass market uh, electric car manufacturer. So and that's a really beautiful spot because they just achieved that target with the Model 3 and with the Model Y, they want to continue that momentum. They want to keep that momentum going and the Model Y will help them do that. So that's the uh, position that Model Y has within Tesla and for people. And uh, it should really help Tesla get to a point where they stabilize as a mass market manufacturer because we all know what happened with the Model 3 and the production going up and down. And now finally they're stabilizing. So the Model Y uh, comes in at that spot. Number two, the second why is why does the Model Y look so much like the Model 3? So about the Model Y looks uh has about 75 percent similarity to the model 3 uh and this is confirmed by the way uh, it shares 75 percent of its parts with the model 3 and 25 percent of its own now the reason why uh that is is because tesla played really smart here because as mentioned earlier uh they want to stabilize their mass market manufacturing and want to continue that momentum from the model 3 so if the model y uh, you know share 75 percent of its parts it does not have to open an entirely new assembly line to manufacture the model y uh 75 percent of its parts are the same so it can make the model y on the same assembly line of course a little tweaks here and there but more or less the same so that t- saves tesla a lot of time money and effort to build a separate car right so that's the reason why the model y looks so much similar to the model 3 which is it was completely intentional except the the only difference is in the back end where the back looks uh sort of bulkier and looks like a you know crossover suv or a fast bag as they call it and it also has a third row for two more people now it's really tiny i mean i saw maybe a lady trip over when she was coming out of the door in the presentation so it's really tiny and sup- and it's optional on uh, tesla's website so these are the two why's there's a there's also a why which is a lot of people were speculating that the model y would be a pickup truck uh but that did not happen of course and the reason is the same you know tesla did not want to take up on something that would require them to spend a lot of time and energy to build an entire different assembly line for a product that's entirely different from the other products right so they did not want to go down that path of course they teased the tesla uh pickup truck 
but we have no details as about it as yet uh so that's the reason the model y was chosen uh, as being the way it is instead of being a pickup truck right so that's 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 the these are the major why's that happened with it and uh, tesla is really looking to become a really stable company in terms of manufacturing at a really large volume just opened it's uh, just announced it's uh, shanghai or hong kong uh, gigafactory which is their third gigafactory announcement and uh, yeah they they really looking to go big with the model y now the model y people people will now have a variety of options to choose from for tesla and that's great for tesla because they can now uh, you know manufacture all of these cars without much effort being taken because the model 3 was built from the ground up uh, every single thing and the model y just uh, sort of fits into that system that was in place for the model 3 So yeah that's about it this was a quick video about what are the big whys with the model y let us know what do you think and if uh, you think separately or if you have some other major whys that we could answer uh thank you for joining us i'll see you next time